Morning guys, it's uh, Friday, uh, October 11th. So we had 20.1 was released in the US last night, about 3 a.m. UK time. Uh, we've gone social media blackout, so we can watch it. Alex and I- uh, I'm not smiling, because it's morning. Yeah, yeah, it's We're far too early for Alex. Um, so neither of us know what the workout is. We're gonna watch it now. Um, uh, see, see what, and capture our uh, initial uh, response. All we know is uh, Zach, our, our coach, down at the Athletic Centre, Didcot, walked up and went, 40 seconds per round, so who knows what he means by that, but let's see what we've got. So, when you open and you okay, tab. right. So to the first workout of the 2020 season, here's Kiki right, okay. Dixon. There we go, announcement. A Kiki lot Dixon. Of familiar faces here Where's in Dave Austin, Texas. <laughs> Tiding in the shadows. We've got the athletes, we've got the judges, we've got the crowd. That's right, Austin, you all. And now all we need is that workout. So, 20.1 is 10 rounds. So, of is it? Eight ground to overhead. Okay, I like that. And 10 bar facing okay. burpees. Okay, so. The weight, oh. 95 and 65 pounds. Ah, okay. 40 the time cap, kilos. 15 minutes. 15 so 20.1 is 10 rounds of eight ground overhead, 10 bar facing burpees, 95 and 65 pounds for the weight with a 15 minute time cap. So Rich, you've done a lot of these open workouts, open announcements. What are your initial thoughts on this one? It's gonna suck. <laughs> All right, so what do you think? So we've got, um, what, what's that, 10 rounds for time with a 15 minute time cap. Uh, Eight grams to overhead at 42 and a half kilos. Probably so it's pretty like much like thrusters. No, 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 it's uh, ground to overhead. So but it's however you choose, isn't it? You could snatch it, you could like. Clean and jerk it, you but you can't thruster it because that means it doesn't go to the ground. Right, yeah, yeah, yeah. okay. And with bar facing burpees, 10 rounds. Yeah. Yeah. That's, that's, yeah. That's a lot. So the first thing, uh, you know, when I heard that, I was like, 10 rounds, I was like, please put a time cap on it. Yeah. Um, you know, the barbell is like light, um, depending on how you are with snatches, you know, you could cycle that quite easily. Um, or what you are, could cycle clean and jerk. What are the reps again? Is it eight? Eight and... I can't remember what it's eight eight of the Huh? It's eight of them, and then I can't remember how many burpees. Oh, I think it was like ten or twelve or something like that. Uh, it'd be interesting to see what the standard is on the, uh, um, on the kind of burpees as well, bar facing, because typically they've done like, it's got to be a two foot come up and then two-footed takeoff, so we'll, I'm sure we'll get a little bit more on that as well. My stomach is already <laughs> like going, listening to this. This is where we need to do it now, right? Let's uh, get it done. No, maybe not now, maybe in a few hours. <laughs> Are you going to cycle the barbell that well? <laughs> oh yeah, even better. Uh, yeah, I'm, so we'll see, I think like eight rounds overhead, like first round is fine, but it's the burp piece that's going to absolutely gas me. Um, it's ground to overhead, so you can alternate, so if you need to kind of change to kind of like clean and jerk, then you can, you can do singles, you can do doubles, triples, five and a three. It's like, Round three that I'm worried about. So. I've, I've, um, my cycling of the barbell for a snatch is, is not great right now. So this this will be a pr good practice. <laughs> Rich must be on his final round, right? He's going to be on his back, absolutely. That's impressive pace they've kept throughout. Panjic can see the finish line now as Rich Froning is on the barbell for round 10. One for Panjic, and he's going to take 20.1. Sean, I am sweating profusely. Oh, nice little spit there the on the right on the floor. <laughs> we did that here. I think it's right now. It's terminated. It's either that or, I'll tell you what, if the guys had to do it, guess what the girls are going to be doing. Yeah, exactly. The wrist running, looking to close things out. As he's trying to get inside of 10 minutes. 
get it with a 15 minute time gap, 10 rounds, 8 ground overhead, and 95 pounds for the men, 65 for the women, and 10 bar fifty for You'll see this a lot right here. Someone's here Rich Brody for a workout. There we go. And now Broding is done. Competitors awesome. no more. So. They are now teammates from here on out. But, uh, Last thoughts on that then? Having yeah, seen so them go through it? <clears throat> I am um, pretty... Pretty uh, worried watching that. It's going to be very, very tough. Um, but I think that work, CrossFit open workouts are always tough. They're always like... Dave Castro always finds a way of creating some new way of some causing suffering. Um, but it is an accessible workout. You know, it's you need to kind of have a look at it and think, okay, ten rounds. Like, what's feasible for me? You want to push it. You want to give it your best attempt, like we talked about, kind of on Sunday. Uh, but equally, I think don't kind of get too nervous about it. You know, it, it's I'm not. I'm not worried about the first half. It's the second half that I'm worried about. <laughs> so I know I can do the first half. But I don't know if I can do so many burpees and then continue to lift that bar. That yeah. is, that is well, going to be yeah. absolutely awful. The good but we've got a week to recover for the next yeah. one. So and, like and the good thing is, is like you know, with ground to overhead, you could drop to singles if you want. And the good thing about like, so say, say for some something like toaster bar. Once you jump up on that bar, if you drop off the bar, then there's a lot of energy to kind of get back up there, get the momentum, get going. So. For a for a movement that might get challenging, something like ground throw overhead is probably one of the more forgiving because when you drop the bar at the top of the rep, it drops to the floor on its own and saves you energy. Unlike something like toast the bar, where you're like yeah, you drop off the bar and rest, but then you've got to kind of invest energy to get and get back up on the bar and get going again. So just it might get tough, but it it will remain accessible even if it's like single reps.